guys, guys and, and welcome, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. 23. So I spent the entire morning in bed editing yesterday's vlog. I had a ton of footage to cut down. I'm going to get ready. Sebastian and I have to do some last minute Christmas shopping. My hair's looking a little bit wild right now. I'm gonna go into my sister's room. Where's Andy? Hi, camera. Hi. Yeah. Give me a high five. Oh. <laughs> so we are at the mall now. We're doing some last minute Christmas shopping that I have to get done. I'm honestly really nervous. Also, we had a little bit of a fail earlier. We often buy Christmas gifts and have them shipped to the US because they're more difficult to get. So we have them sent to our US mailbox and unfortunately, we are gonna be getting up super early tomorrow to go pick those up because we left it for the last minute to actually put our stuff in our overnight locker and now there's no available space left. We also have to go pick up lobster afterwards. So tomorrow is gonna be honestly so stressful, I feel like. I'm honestly nervous because I don't want to come off as being stressed out in the vlog, but it might happen. <laughs> you guys tell that Sebastian and I have started to adapt styles. Look how matchy matchy we are. <laughs> a few more stops, just right down there too. Awesome, thank you so much. Yes, this looks so freaking good. We're having a super healthy dinner again. Sebastian picked us up some poutine. We need to have a really fast dinner so that we have maximum time to shop. So we're probably gonna eat this pretty quickly and then go over to some stores and hopefully get the things that we need before the mall closes. It closes at 10 tonight, right? Yeah. So this is already super unsuccessful. We've been looking around for some stocking stuffers and stuff, but I'm now like hunched over on a bench because I have the worst stomach cramps. I just took like four tongues to hopefully help it go away. But this is like the worst time for this to happen, especially because there's like two days left till Christmas. I have so many things left to get and I also have so many things to wrap. I basically only wrapped the one gift that I showed you guys in the how to wrap Christmas gifts video that I posted a couple weeks ago and that's literally all I've wrapped. I basically can't even walk. We're at Victoria's Secret. I'm picking out the Christmas Eve gifts that I give my mom and my sister over here. It's about like another 15 minutes, so I really have to hurry, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy I'm feeling better now because that was a nightmare earlier. I thought I was gonna have to go home for sure, so I'm feeling a little bit more relieved, but I still have some main gifts to get people that I still have no idea what I'm getting. Hey guys, so it's actually been a very long time. We got almost no footage today because I was really sick in the mall and I honestly could barely walk, but fortunately, the Thames kicked in and I was able to like pull through in the last like half hour it seemed like. I managed to get a lot of the stuff that I needed but because we don't have a lot of footage today and I still haven't actually posted my Christmas house tour video I'm going to add that footage at the end of this. I'm sorry that the past few vlogs haven't really been full vlog but it's been so crazy and I still want to post every day so that is why I'm going to be adding that to this. Also stay tuned to the end of the video because we will be doing another giveaway so without further ado let's get into the house tour. So a quick overview this is the room my mom stays in. We almost never show this room because it's not very exciting there's not a lot that goes on in this room. We never do anything in here. And the only thing I really added for decoration was these old stockings. And these are seriously like so old, but the only reason I added them is because they kind of match the decor in here. Don't mind the wall. That was where there was a TV and we haven't actually had it painted since then. So the bedding is actually from Target's Christmas collection this year. And the naughty and nice pillows were two DIY pillows I made in my last DIY decor video. And then from there, you can walk into the washroom washer and dryer in there. This is where our sink is. Toilet, shower. This is what I have in the bathroom. Not very exciting. I just have some face cloths in here. I have a little marble toothbrush holder that I got from HomeSense, some candies, a bar of soap, and then some samples over here. And then I have this frosted cranberry candle from Bath & Body Works. Love the packaging this year. So I got the matching soap as well. And then there's nothing really exciting going on in the shower. And then you guys are all familiar with this room. This is the room that I film all of my DIY videos in. I call this the studio. I still have my little setup that I was using for my last video. And this is the room my sister always stays in. So I've got the bedding on here. The duvet cover is from Target. Those pillows I made in last year's DIY Christmas decor video. The Christmas tree in the corner there is from Michael's. The wreath was just an extra one that I had for my last video. And then over in the corner here, I have the Alex dresser from Ikea with a stocking that I got from Joanne's craft store. And then I have this little oil burner from Bath & Body Works. These were also DIYs I made in a video a couple years ago. So these lanterns are actually from Ikea. I think they're super cute. I have so many of them. 
The star in the background is also from Ikea. And then these mosquito nets over beds. I think they look so pretty. This is like $10 at Ikea. I think it really makes a room look way more magical. The sheet set is actually from Target from last year. And I really like the whole flannel look. Every bed in the house has flannel on it right now because I think it is so soft and comfy and it just feels so cozy for the winter time. In the background, I have some twinkly lights and those are the Philips twinkling lights. I got those from Target. And the snow sign over there was another DIY I made in a video last year. That wreath is from this year's DIY video. And then that lantern over there is also from Ikea. I love their lanterns. I think they're super cute. These balls are all from Dollar Tree as well as all of the bells. I find that they have really cute stuff at a really, really great price because everything's like a dollar. So you really can't beat that. Again, more twinkly lights. And the throw that I have on this bed is actually from HomeSense. So here's a quick overview of the room. Hi, Nell. All right, so now going downstairs. So over here is where my fireplace is. This is where my tree is, my dining room. And then there is my other tree. And from there is my kitchen. So starting over here, the garland on the fireplace is from Costco from a few years ago. These stockings are from the Bave. This sleigh, which I'm obsessed with. I think it's so beautiful. I got this at a place called Bowring, but they usually have really pretty stuff around the holidays. They also have like a sister company called Bombay. And then a lot of these things are just things I've collected over the years. So I can't even remember where they're from. Those pillars are from Pottery Barn from I think two seasons ago. So in this corner over here, basically everything is from Target. The throw blanket, the Tis the Season pillow, and also that little flocked tree are all from this year's Target holiday collection. The chair is actually from Pier 1. This basket over here is from Target. In the basket, I just have some Pottery Barn pillows and a Pottery Barn throw blanket. So on my coffee table, I have this lantern from Ikea. I have a couple books, Lauren Conrad's book and then Girl Boss. I have a candle and then I have these coasters from Anthropology. Pretty much everyone has these, but they're so pretty. I absolutely love them. And then I have these faux flowers that I got at HomeSense and I have the night before Christmas. Over here, I have some more of the stockings that I got at the bay. I have some stocking holders and I think those are also from the bay. And then I have a bunch of other like random ornaments and stuff. This circle thing here, I think is from Target. So for my tree, this is what it looks like. The lights that are twinkling on it right now, I'm so obsessed with them. I got them from Target and they're the Philips twinkling lights. I think they're so, so pretty. So over here on the media stand, I have some birch pieces that I got from Joann's and I made a DIY out of these last year. It's just like a frosted layer of clear glitter. I love it. And then that pine cone was also a DIY and I have some candles resting on there. So my sofa is from Pottery Barn and then I have these two Target pillows on the front. I love them. If you guys watched my vlogs, you know how much I was obsessed with these this year. And then in the back corner, I have a cable knit pillow from Crate and Barrel. And then on this side, I have another cable knit cream pillow. This one's more disheveled looking, but I had a brown pillow there and it just didn't match. So I pulled this one out to add to it so that everything went together. And this one's from Pottery Barn from a few years ago. On my stairs, I actually have a garland that I made and it seems like it'd be really complicated, but it was so easy to make. The only complicated part is actually trying to get it to look good after every year because as you like store it and stuff, you have to fluff it up again every year. Basically what I did is I took one of the most standard garlands you can buy, the kind that you get at Walmart or any like dollar store, and I added on some bows. I actually really like these. They're so pretty and they have like a gold thread going through them. Then I also added on some of this gold ribbon and the kind I like to use has metal in the side so that you can shape it. And that's how I get all these little crimps and stuff going through them. Then I added on some gold pine cones and I just spray painted these and some little glass ornaments. So this is what it looks like from further away. For my table, this is actually not complete yet. I haven't had a chance to set it or finish the center piece, but I started off with these pine cones and these are sugar cones. I got these at Lowe's and I've been obsessed with them because they're so big and beautiful. And I just coated them in some flock 
The table runner is from Crate and Barrel. The pillar candle holders are actually from Pottery Barn. So my tree is actually from Michael's. We just got this this year and I think it's one of their Ashland trees and it's flocked. The flocking is super thick and I have a bunch of DIY ornaments that I made on it. So these pom-poms and these birch plaques as well as these feather ornaments were all DIYs I made this year. These two I made in my DIY decor video and then the feather ornaments I made in a vlog and I love how everything looks really white. Everything is new from this year. This ornament here is from Pottery Barn. These birch star and joy ornaments are from Walmart. Those little frosted pine cones are from Target and the bells are from Pottery Barn. And then these sparkly glass ornaments are from Michaels. These little pom-pom picks are from Walmart. And then these little white guys are from Michaels as well. And I think that pretty much covers it. In the back here, I actually just hung these stockings to cover up some command strips that I had attached to the wall from where my desk decor was before. So I have this cable knit stocking right here. That's from Target from last year. And then the one in the back is also from Target and that's from this year. Almost done here, those candle pillars are from Pottery Barn. These cable knit sparkly candles are also from Pottery Barn. I also have this burgundy Santa here, which I think is super cute, but it doesn't really match my decor style anymore. So I keep all of these things out in the kitchen, but this is just a burgundy Santa and I think I got it from the bay. And then finishing it off, the garland that I have here, this is actually from Costco from a few years ago and I keep it in the kitchen because again, I feel like it doesn't really match my decor style anymore. It's really pretty. It's just not as much what I'm into anymore, but these two go together really well and that's why I also have some of these burgundy balls in here. Okay, so for today's giveaway, we're going to do two prizes. And the first prize here is actually something I'm super excited about. This is the Echo Dot. These are awesome because you can play like Spotify from them, Pandora Radio. You can control any of your like smart home devices. So if you have like Philips Hue lights or Wemo plugs and that kind of thing, like smart plugs. So you can just say like, turn the lights on and it will control your lights for you, which is really lazy, but like really awesome at the same time. So this is also really awesome if you like Audible because you can play your books off of here. And then for the second prize, we're going to do another $50 gift card for your choice of Walmart, Target, or Amazon. So all you have to do is be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment. I tried to make it as easy as possible. So this giveaway is open internationally, and if you're under the age of 18, because this will have to be sent to your house, make sure you have your parents' consent to enter the giveaway, because I will need your actual address to send this to you if you win. So in Vlogmas Day 24, we will be announcing all the winners for the giveaways up until now, and I will leave the links for the other giveaways that are ongoing in the description bar below for you guys, in case you haven't entered those, so you can go enter those and have an extra chance to win. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't a great vlog because like I said, I only had a few minutes of footage, but I hope you guys will forgive me. It's been really hectic and I'm trying to do my best to make sure I get these up every day. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We love you so much and we will see you all in Vlogmas Day 24. Merry Christmas guys. Merry Bye. Christmas. Bye. Christmas.